Hey guys, Tark with UVTCA, and today what we're going to be doing is building our DT145 drone kit. It may be listed as a 140, 145, but what this actually is, is it's, it's a 145 drone frame, which means it's 145 millimeters, and today we're going to go ahead and assemble it. Now, this is our plug-in pilot system, which means that it's completely solderless. That's one of our uh, one of uh, the items that's exclusive to Cyclone FPV and UVTCA, is that we offer drone kits that require zero soldering, so that it makes it a little bit easier and a little bit more fun and less intimidating for first-time builders. So let's get right to it. I'm going to introduce you to the parts and then we're just going to jump right into this. So here's what we've got right here, and I'm on my soldering mat here. It's, it's a little uh, cluttered right now because I've got everything out here, but let's go through what you should have in your kit. Uh, we'll start with over here. We're going to have some M2 uh, screws. Uh, so these are going to be uh, the M2, and I believe these are going to be like 7 millimeters in length. These are going to be your motor screws, and you're going to have about 16 of those. Uh, you have your motors right here. These are going to be, uh, these are labeled for us, but these are made by Flash Hobby, and these are going to be the 1408 uh, 20... Uh, 2800 kV motors, okay, which means that for every one volt that you give this motor, it'll spin 2800 revolutions, okay, per minute. Uh, we have the uh, locks here, the uh, fasteners that will hold the propellers down when they're on. We have your camera right here. This is going to be if you're wearing goggles or you want to watch your flight on TV. We've got the mounts for those. These are M2 20 millimeter screws. These are going to hold in your flight controller and everything else. These are the fasteners for the, uh, your, these are your M2 fasteners that are going to go on top of these when we're done fastening everything together, and I'll show you. These are your spacers. This is your VTX. This is actually going to be plugged into the, um, the board, and that will transmit. It's a video transmitter. VTX stands for video transmitter, and the TX is abbreviation for transmitter, basically. And that's what's going to transmit the video to goggles or to a, um, a monitor of some sort. This is the actual brains behind it. This is your flight controller. Your processor's right here. Your OSD module is right here, which means your on-screen display. Your gyro's here as well. Plus, this also has your ESC, or your electronic speed controller, in as well. That means that this actually controls your motors and has the, um, it does everything in one. It's called an AIO, which stands for all-in-one board. That's what this is right here. So we're going to get that attached. Then we have some more M3 screws here. And actually what we have is we have M3 that are 10 millimeters long, eight millimeters long, and six millimeters long. Each one has a specific purpose. The um, 10 millimeter are gonna be for a certain part of the arms that we're gonna attach right here. The eight millimeter are for another section of the arms. And the six millimeter are gonna be for the top plate when we put them on. And last but not least, we have the actual frame itself. So let's look through this frame. Uh, we're gonna, we can grab our calipers right here and get an idea. Okay, let's kind of zero it out here. And our frame roughly is about four millimeters thick. We're gonna give or take a little, so we're gonna round it to four millimeters. That's what the arms are. And then we have our plates. Now, I'll explain to you why the different plates, but let's just look at the thickness. This is the actual top plate. This should be about, yeah, about 1.5, 1.6. We have our bottom plate here, uh, which is about the same. And then we have a plate that is gonna be uh, supporting the arms between the bottom plate and the top of the arms and that's gonna be about the same. So give or take, depending on, these are usually would be the same. They're probably cut from different sheets, but most of the time, this is mostly, most likely intended to be a one and a half sheet, and depending on how you measure it, it's gonna be close. So that's what we've got right now, guys. This is the breakdown of what we have. Please make sure you have everything. You should have 16 of the M2, uh, and we'll just check to make sure these are, uh, let me see. These are gonna be M2, and then we'll get our ruler out. These are gonna be M2 seven millimeters. You should have 16 of those, four motors, Four fasteners, uh, locking fasteners for the motors that hold the prop down. One camera, <clears throat> two mounts, two uh, 3D printed mounts, and actually there are two screws that go with that mount, and I think I mixed them here. So we will see if we have some of the short screws here. If they're not here, they should be somewhere very close by. Um, but you should have two screws here, two M2s, and I think I'm just going to grab these two right here just to make sure we get them. Uh, so we're going to have these two, let's say. All right, and these are going to be for your camera. Okay, uh, you should have four uh, M2 20 millimeter screws right here. Okay. Let's see if I get that stop rolling. Okay. They don't want to stop rolling. All right. You should have four, uh, nylon fasteners right here, which will go onto there. And just to make sure they're the right ones, you can just literally just turn, put them on. If they don't fly off your hands, like they do with me, you just put them on. You'll see that these will go together just like that. Okay. You should have one flight, uh, one video transmitter. You should have four of these, um, spacers, M2 spacers, one flight controller that's already pre-wired. Uh, you should have your standoffs, which are right here. Okay, so you're going to have four standoffs right here. And I believe these standoffs are 25 or 30 millimeters. These are going to be 30. So four 30 millimeter standoffs. You should also have a, um, a, 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 a non-slip pad. Now, I've cut this one, and I'll show you guys what you're going to do, but it's going to be like a rectangle. It's going to look more like, 
this one right here, okay, or a square. You may have it in a rectangle or a square. If you have the square, it's going to look just like that, okay? <clears throat> and then you should have your screws for six millimeter, for eight millimeter, for 10 millimeter M3s, and those are going to fasten into here, and then you have your uh, frame, okay? If you're good with that, let's go ahead and get ready to go to step two. And what I'm going to do in this series, guys, is that we're going to actually just stop a video and then start exactly where we left off so you can get videos in under 10 minutes, okay? That's our goal so that we can make it qu quicker and uh, make sure that you have time to stop and put these together, okay? So I'll see you back in just a second.